elbow straight, hold back toward me. That's great. Bring your right arm up. Elbow straight, hold back toward me. And that's working too. And I'm just going to press on this joint on the left side. Hold that real strong. It's uh, halfway. What if I press on the right side? Hold it real strong. That turns off completely. So maybe it's even a little fixated on both sides. Certainly the right side is not moving like it should. So we're going to let this arm relax. I'm going to bring your table up just a little bit so I don't have to bend over quite so much. All right. So let me do all the work. What I'm going to do is support your head right here. Just let it rest in my hand. We're going to come underneath way over here. Good. So I can feel right there it starts to get stuck. Can you feel that? It's like bumps up against something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the edge of where it's stuck. I'm going to let it relax and I'm going to give an impulse to move beyond that. Okay? Let me do all the work. So your neck just drops right down toward the table. Good. Come underneath. Leave your breath out for me, please. And relax. How was that? That's nice. That was an interesting, very high frequency, crispy sound that I heard. Mm -hmm. I was expecting a deeper pop. Mm -hmm. So what that tells me is we got a little freedom mm -hmm. in that joint. It's not 100% free. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's as much as it wants to give up right now, and I'm going to live with that. Mm -hmm. So bring this arm up. Hold that. I'm going to press on this side. Hold that. Okay. So for the moment, we've made. Or mm -hmm. progress. Let me just check the other side. Hold that. And there's still a little on the left side, mm -hmm. so I'm going to repeat this on the opposite side. The right side, that's all we're going to ask it to do today. But what it felt to me like is that that's just the beginning of mm -hmm. some change that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. So just like we say, oh, well, I want to move my teeth and bring them into a new alignment. Mm -hmm. We know that's a process that's going to take some time. Mm -hmm. What I'm feeling is this joint isn't quite free to move yet. We, we unlocked a little piece of its stuckness. But it still it wants some time to change. You know, mm -hmm. It might take, who knows, several months or even a year or so for you to get that joint really functioning and healthy again. Mm -hmm. But it really can be done. Just like we can move teeth, we can truly make that joint healthy again. And I would encourage you to do that because it's going to have a big impact on how your body moves and organizes. So I'm going to repeat this process on the opposite side. Let me do all the work. On underneath. I heard that it already just wants to fall into place. But I think if I go a little to the right, no, nope, that may have been all we get. Bring this arm up. Come right up against my hand. This way. Yeah, watch my hand in space. Good. Come forward a little bit. Right to here. Good. Open your fingers. Hold back strong. Good. Hold back strong. Much better. Hold back strong. Stick your tongue out to your left side, hold that. Stick your tongue out to your right side, hold that. Okay, let that go. So we've got maybe room for a little bit more change. Did you notice how freely the left side just wanted to fall? Yeah. And the right side is barely willing to open. It's resisting. There's a real difference in the balance there. Mm -hmm. And I did notice when you were face down, the muscles on your right side were really tight, working hard. Mm -hmm. the muscles on the left are very relaxed. So there's a real difference in the function there. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if those were more symmetrical. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily have to be 100% symmetrical, but we do want to aim towards balance. So let's just see if there's anything left to move here, something like that spot. let this fascial structure release for me right there. I'd like you to tuck your chin a little bit onto your chest. That's it. Good. Keep going. There you go. Just like that. And a little more. Keep going. Good. I'm going to follow you up. Tuck your chin onto your chest. I'm going to follow you up. Tuck your chin onto your chest. Even more. Tuck your chin onto your chest. And then let it go completely. Let's borrow this arm, see what we got. Hold that strong. Stick your tongue out to your right side, please. Hold that strong. Good. 
I'm going to call that good. So we didn't get another pop, and I'm not worried about getting another pop. Mm -hmm. Okay, my strategy is to restore motion mm -hmm. over time as quickly as we can, but it can't always happen in an instant. Sometimes mm -hmm. we have to allow the steps to unfold. So right now, just by releasing some of that fascia, now that joint is able to start to move a little more freely. That motion is what's going to heal the joint. The adjustment doesn't heal the joint. The adjustment only unlocks the joint. Okay? Your body heals the joint. And sometimes we have to unlock it in order to let the healing happen. Okay? So the adjustments are helpful and they're therapeutic and they can be beneficial and they can even feel good. But they don't heal anything. They just get the stuckness out of the way so that your own body can start to do its healing. So that's what we're going to do then. Okay, I'll see you when you come back again. Very good. Thanks very much.